So let's not waste any time. NXT today, a bunch of cuts between talent and office. We had William Regal, Road Dog, Timothy Thatcher, Danny Birch, Adeki Suzuki, Kathy Carino, Dave Kapoor, Scott Armstrong, George Carroll, Ace Steele, and Ryan Katz. And there may have been three or four others we have not listed here. Uh, but a lot of the old regime on the way out as uh, the new regime is rolling in. Who's the new regime? I don't know who the new regime is going to be, but I mean, all those old the, NXT black and gold folks on their well, there's way a lot. Of, there's a lot of people that are still there, that were there, but yeah, and there's a lot of people that were let go. Um, you know, I mean, as far as like Birch and Thatcher, I, I mean, it was pretty obvious the direction as far as the wrestling goes that, that they were going to be let go, and neither of them is a secret or anything like that. That was probably months in the making. Um, you know, Regal was a big surprise although they'd taken him off television and had, had had eliminated his role as a television character uh for no good reason because he was actually excellent at it but that doesn't matter well then he had no real role as an indie talent scout since they're not looking for indie talent anymore yeah so it's probably it they announced uh, they had a statement here and uh they said, with the continued evolution of NXT 2.0, we have decided to part ways with some of the staff based in our performance center. We thank them for their many contributions throughout the years and wish them the best. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. Yeah, so, I mean, as far as some of the others, um, I mean, some of them, like, Kathy Carino had only been there for a couple for a couple months, right? Apparently she moved within the last couple of months across country to yeah, do the job. Yeah, she was living in Vegas. She was living in Vegas, yeah. It was her child's first day at her new school, and then fired. Yeah. So the, the, the I guess, like, the, the things that I, had, that I you know, we'd heard, obviously, is that um, there's a lot of people who were, you know, wondering what the hell's going on because as far as the coaching goes, um, Dave Kapoor was the promo guy, promo coach, right? And Scott Armstrong was the referee coach, and the, who also timed NXT. And um, Kathy Carino was the women's trainer, and the only one. And, and Armstrong was the only referee trainer. And so the feeling is, it's like, okay, so who's going to be doing that? Well, you know, sometimes these firing decisions are made, and I don't think they've got a plan. Aside from just getting rid of people. Okay, but... If you're getting rid of people, like, um, you know, like when if, if you have like three or four people and you're cutting it down to like two people or even one person, it's one thing. But when you have one person in a role and you're cutting it down to zero, you need to have a replacement, don't you? You know, you'd think that you would, but I mean, I'm yeah. watching SmackDown and I can't for the life of me figure out who Roman Reigns is going to feud with when you look at that roster. And then I think about yeah, the well, that, 90 that, that, people that they cut over the last year. And you'd think well, I mean, maybe... with, with with Roman Reigns, obviously, you know, the idea was Brock Lesnar and Drew McIntyre, and and it's and still going to be Brock Lesnar, and still going to be Drew McIntyre. Well, it's going to be Brock Lesnar to a degree, but I mean, Brock Lesnar is facing Lashley at the Rumble, so I mean, that's going to be his main feud for now. So who's Roman Reigns going to face between now and the Rumble? Nobody. Uh, Drew's out. Drew's out. But that's that that was something that came, you know, like in the last. Whatever. I mean, Drew was the Drew was the guy planned. Yeah, but my point is, like, if you got a wrestling company and like I one guy should... goes down and you're totally screwed, I mean, you got a serious problem with depth. We have serious problem with it's not depth. It's 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 depth. It's depth because they don't make stars. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I mean, so, look at AEW. They lost Moxley, and then Jericho was gone in his tour, and you know they've had all sorts of injuries and everything's been fine. I mean they've got plenty of people that can be stars. They've they've worked on building stars yeah, as well, opposed I mean, to building a brand around one guy who runs through absolutely everybody and you draft one guy over and that guy gets hurt and now what do you do? Yeah. And and they almost had that same thing on the women's side with with Banks except I guess well I mean she's a knee sprain, right? So so she might be out for a cup, but it's it probably not going to be that for a long time. But obviously, you know, she was probably Charlotte Flair's opponent for WrestleMania. So if she had gotten a worse injury, you know, they'd have been screwed there because the other one was Tony Storm who just quit. So they don't, you know, they're not filled with depth, even though they have like a ton of people on the roster, but they pigeonholed everyone in there at their certain role. 
um, I believe that that they have something planned for Reigns, but I don't know who it is. I, it might be somebody on the Raw side that they're moving over, but they do have something planned, which should probably, you know, be shown in the next week or two because they kind of have to do something because for now it's not. I mean, I mean, Lesnar's and Reigns are going to have a confrontation on Friday, so maybe that'll set up something. You know, whoever the the the, the new sacrificial lamb will be, but um, yeah, as far as um, you know, I mean, like Scott Armstrong has been with the company forever. I mean, forever. Um, Road Dog was probably you know too closely associated with Paul Levesque, and then Scott too, and Regal too, for that matter. There's probably something to that. Um, uh, George Carroll hadn't been there that long. I mean, he, you know, and you know, like, like, it's not like he had been there for a long time. He was, he was. Um, I saw him on television. I think it was a week ago. Hideki Suzuki. I saw on television yesterday. Um, you know, as far as like the coach of Roderick Strong. So, um, but I could see he's another one where, at the end of the day, you know, he's not a young guy, and you know, they um, they were never going to bring him to the main roster. So his day, I, I thought his days were kind of number two, although he was a coach. But they're cutting back on on coaching, on coaching, obviously. Um, so yeah, um, trying to think who other, what, 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 so as far as the other guys. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I I um, I'm just trying to figure out like who's going to be in, who's going to be in what spot. I mean, who's going to be teaching the women? Who's going to be Training with the, training the referees. I guess the referees can train each other. Maybe the wrestlers can train each other too. Uh, well, they do have they do have some coaches left, but um, actually a few many coaches. But um, yeah, not a not a good day there. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full length shows. Down there on the bottom right hand side of the screen, click that join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube. Over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.